I do love this company. There's an element of nostalgia. There's an element of, you know, it sort of grabs you and almost get emotional thinking about all we've been through uh, with all the associates and all those kinds of things. But at the same time, I sit here and look in this environment where, you know, so much of what this company did over the years, when we started it, you, you had the dot-com bubble when we were trying to raise the capital. We had 9-11 right out of the gate. We're trying to build a big loan portfolio. And boom, you got 9-11, but man, we were able to you know, press on and so we out, sort of outran everybody. And then, you know, the next big hurdle, you got the Great Recession and boy, everybody got hammered in that, but we came roaring out. And what's interesting in that first decade, we had the second highest total shareholder performance of all the banks in the United States following uh, the Bank of the Ozarks. And in the second decade, following the Great Recession, we had the second highest total shareholder return of all the banks following Western Alliance. And so here we've got the third big thing here with COVID-19, but I do look at it and sort of uh, lick my chops just a little bit thinking, okay, we got another good run here. This is gonna be our turn. So anyway, it's a, it's a mix of everything. It's a similar sort of opportunity. The sky's the limit in, in one respect, but at the same time, I do kind of get emotional thinking about all the folks and all that's been done, all that's been built, all we've been through.